What's going on, YouTube? Well, I'm back from my Savannah trip. I hope everybody had a safe and fun 4th of July weekend. Um, man, I, I really caught up on some, uh, or I really went into quite a few really nice comic book stores while I was down in Savannah. Um, anytime I go out of town, I try to hit, you know, different types of toy stores or comic book stores. Um, they had some really small ones. Some of them I didn't record in just for the simple fact that it, there wasn't enough content or there wasn't enough, uh, there really wasn't anything in the stores worth filming. I guess that's the, the easiest way to put it. Uh, not trying to be a jerk about it, but. Uh, I even spoke with one of the the owner or operators there. And I explained to him, you know, what type of content I put on YouTube and what type of stores I really am seeking out while I was in the area. He was like, oh, yeah, you can record. And I was like, okay, yeah, we might come back. And I knew I was not going to record there. Like, there's, it was so small that they had uh, like a cupcake store in front of it as part of the store like you had to walk through the cupcake store to get to this small store that's literally the size of my man cave i mean it's it was pretty dinky um i do have another trip coming up uh hopefully that will be the one where i'll get to go to kokomo toys hopefully they'll be nice about letting me record there um if not, then maybe I'll get enough content in before they stop me. So, yeah, you know how that goes. Um, I guess tonight we'll just do a little bit of unboxings. Uh, I don't have a lot of stuff to show off. Uh, I did pick up a, little, a couple pops today. Just because I had a pre-order at GameStop that I should have picked up. Technically, I should have picked it up two weeks ago and it didn't come in. Their shipment was late on some of the pre-orders. And they called me on my way out of town. So, um, needless to say, I was on vacation last week. I just didn't get around to it. Today's Tuesday. I didn't have a chance to do it yesterday. I was busy. So, yeah, we'll go over what I picked up there. I'll do a uh, unboxing, and then, eh, like I said, I got a couple. I got a little another package that we'll unbox, and we'll see how. I'm kind of skeptical on how they shipped it, but we'll see. I mean it. Might be something that really surprised me. I don't know. Um, but from the GameStop. <clears throat> I don't know if all the GameStops are doing this right now. And I really want to find out. But they had a 3 for 25. When I do uh, pre-orders, usually I just put $5 down on them. Because most of the time when I go into a GameStop, I ask them what is going to be the GameStop exclusives that are coming up. They'll run down a whole slew of stuff. And 90% of the time, it's stuff that I don't collect. Just being honest. Um, primarily, I really... Right now, I'm into... I'm still into Marvel. But... Uh, there's... I mean... I don't know. There's really like not a lot of stuff that's been releasing here lately that I'm interested in. Or that, you know it coincides with my collection where I'll be able to display it because I don't want to collect pops just so I can go put them in a tote or in a storage. Like it, it kind of seems like it's defeating the purpose. I I do want my pops to be in the best shape possible in case I ever decide to get out of collecting, but I collect because I collect the stuff that I like. It's not necessarily a Oh, I need to buy this because it's going to go up in value or it has a certain, you know, monetary value right this second. And there has been some stuff that I picked up over time that, you know, that might that may have been the driving force. Um, but it's rare. It's really rare. Uh, usually my stuff is. I mean, it's mostly Marvel um, like I said, for the wife, I pick up any Betty Boops to come out, maybe some rock pops. And there's still some rock stuff that's came out recently that I just haven't grabbed. Um, I've been really interested in collecting comic books as of lately. And I've kind of been putting uh, pops on the back burner, to be honest. There is a couple series out there right now that I'll probably start hunting for. 
just because I've been seeing them pop up. Either I've had a focus of, you know, like I said, comic books or I haven't had money on me at the time. So I've passed on them. But I do want to get the cheer set. Guaranteed I want to get that. Um, I do want to finish off the Big Bang series. And I'm still debating on the the Ghostbusters. I don't know. The more, the more I see them in the stores, like, eh. I'm, I may just get the, the actual Ghostbusters. Uh, I got Peter Vankman and I got the Stay Puff. I might just get the other three Ghostbusters and forget about Slimer and the other ghosts and stuff. So I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with that one yet. Uh, but getting into this series or getting into this pick today's pickup, they actually I went to go pick up two of the pops that I had pre-ordered. Like I said, I put five dollars down on them, and when I went to the register, she said, "Hey, you know." Go pick out another pop. It's only going to run you like a dollar or two more because we're running a three for 25 special. It literally cost me a dollar extra. So I picked up Stuart. Yeah. Um, I really want to get the rest of this Big Bang set. Unfortunately, I really want to get the San Diego Comic Con ones where they're in all their costumes. The only problem is I'm not going to San Diego Comic Con, unfortunately. Uh, but it's a Walmart exclusive. So, uh, that's the shared exclusive. It's with Walmart. And if any of you guys have seen any Walmart pops or ever ordered any offline. <sighs> yeah. I've ordered a couple from walmart.com and every single one of them has been destroyed or in horrible shape. There's been quite a few times at least three times where I've ordered pops from Walmart and I'll get them shipped to store. I'll open them up in the store. They'll be destroyed. And I'll tell them that I need a refund and I end up taking them back. Um, but hopefully we'll get lucky and maybe they'll do a release actually in store. Cause it seems like here lately I've been getting a little bit lucky with that. Um, with the captain Marvel and, uh, Mysterio I got the Mysterio so both of those I got in very good, really good shape so but so I got Stuart as my bonus but the main pop that I actually pre-ordered and went to go pick up was Gohan and I just grabbed two of them so there's no reason for ooh, ooh. <laughs> there's no reason for me to Open up the bag and pull out the next one. It's just Gohan with a sword. It was a GameStop exclusive uh, club or Funko Insider Club. Uh, both the boxes were in really good shape. I was kind of surprised. But I got the rest of the set. So I wanted to get the exclusive too. And I'll probably try to pick up the San Diego Comic Con exclusives because one of them is going to be a game uh, box lunch and the other one is going to be a uh, hot topic exclusive so we'll see how that kind of works out uh now the unboxing just got one box for you today and i got a package so if anybody else has been pre-ordering stuff you probably know what this is because they've been shipping for the last week mine's been saying that it's been shipping to me for about three weeks now but it didn't actually show up on the tracker until like two or three days ago. I think it shipped from California. I'm not positive though. It's packed good. That's that's always a plus. Oh shit. And it's actually in a uh, soft protector. A really thick soft protector. It's almost... Is this a Shumi? No, it's a chalice. Goku. This was the chalice exclusive. Um, really cool pop. It's kind of a little pricey, to be honest, if I remember correct. I don't know. It seemed like the pre-orders for this was so long ago. But really, really nice pop. I think the, the natural light is kind of getting his hair. And maybe it's doing it some justice. Really, really nice pop. Huh. I don't know. That's cool. Now... Get into this last one. It's just a 
I bought this off of eBay and I actually messaged them about, hey, can we do a local pickup? Because they're literally a store that I shop at frequently. Um, I don't even know how I should open this. Because I don't want to cut into something that I'm not supposed to. But they never responded. So I went ahead with my purchase. I got it well below value. So it is what it is. Oh yeah, this is going to be fine. I was really worried about this uh, shipping in the priority mailbox. Or back. Or I can't even talk. Priority mail envelope. So I was kind of like, eh, what kind of shape is that going to lead to? You know, it's real soft. But they shipped in a uh, cardboard container. I forget who makes these. I want to say it was the Empire or something like that. I don't know. That's who they shipped. Uh, that's who they shipped my last one into. Being getting lucky because what they don't sell in the store, as far as uh, variants and kind of exclusive comic books, they put on their eBay store. Well, some of them are buy it nows, but the stuff that is a little bit more exclusive, they have it as just, it's Gemini. I'm sorry. Let's see if I can get that. Yeah, Gemini. Uh, they put it up for just a regular auction. Well, needless to say, I've been getting lucky on some of those auctions because I'm buying comics that people aren't really checking for. You know, they're, they're not first uh, appearances of anybody. Um, they're just like, really cool comics. <laughs> so, I got a Spider-Man 800 that is signed. And it's actually a uh, Dynamic Forces with a Certificate of Authenticity. Um, this one was signed by Wade... Grawl Badger, if that's how you say his last name. But I'm a super Spider-Man fan. Uh, that's the main series that I actually collect is uh, Amazing Spider-Man. So I was kind of stoked. I got that one for 10 bucks, And I mean, the comic alone, like the, the retail price on the comic, like when it released was $10. It was uh, a $9.99 comic because of how thick it is. It's a really, really thick comic book. It's 80 pages. And then I also got War of the Realms, number one. Uh, this is a, uh, oh, what's it? It's a one in 100 uh, virgin variant. Well, if you guys know anything about one in 100s or one in 10, one in 25, the higher the the later number the more exclusive it is and i want to say this one's going for like 80 or 90 bucks but i bought it for eight dollars and 75 cents so yeah pretty cool and the corners look really really good maybe a little bit of paint chipping on that one but the rest of them are really really nice so and i actually if I would have knew that those were going to come as fast as they did, they said they weren't supposed to be here till the 11th. I probably would have held off on unpacking what I got in yesterday because I actually got in uh, this Fantastic Four, number one, Virgin Variant, 1 100. I don't remember what I paid for it. I want to say it was maybe eight bucks, nine bucks, something like that. Um, it's another one that's up there with the value. Like I said, those one in 100, especially when it comes to like Marvel comics, um, they tend to be a little bit more on the pricey side as far as, uh, how much they ask for them when they initially release and how much they hold the value. At least that's the way that it seems that it's been as of lately that I've noticed. So I was kind of stoked to get all three of those comics. Especially for as cheap of a price as I got them for. Um, let me know if you guys like the comic book content. Because it seems like my last couple of videos, eh, I can't really tell. 
um, my views are kind of down right now. And I think it's just because I haven't been putting content. Because I can't talk. That's why That's why my views are down. because I can't speak. Um, let me see if I can get the glare off. But I think it's just because I haven't been releasing as much content. When I was releasing a video every three or four days, it seemed like the views would stay up fairly well. Uh, here lately, you know, I've been kind of slacking because I haven't had content. Like, I'm not going to push something out just to make a video. You know, it's it's cool and fine whenever I go pop hunting or if I go toy hunting or if I have an unboxing. But if I don't have any of that stuff, I'm not going to put out a video or just do a blog so I can talk about, you know, what's on my mind. You know, I want to give you guys content that you actually want to watch. So if you guys like the, the comic book content, let me know. If you don't, let me know. Like, even a negative comment is a comment. Um, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Um, there's definitely going to be some new content coming through. Because, like I said, I do have a couple trips planned where we'll be going into different or new stores that are out of town. Um, I, I tend to watch those videos myself. You know, those are the videos that I want to see because I want to know about stores that, you know, if I'm ever in the, I don't know, Georgia, Arizona, Florida, wherever, you know, if I'm out of state and I'm traveling, even if I'm just vacationing with the family, if there's a toy store that I may want to frequent and somebody else does a video on it, I'm more likely to go to that store. You know, that's going to be something that I'll put on my list to do. The uh, first thing I did when we got to Savannah was, hey, let me see what kind of toy stores and comic book stores they have. Yes, I want to do all the touristy things, but I also want to do the things that I'm interested in. And lucky enough for me, my wife understands that because I think she kind of enjoys it a little bit, too. You know, we had the kids with us. The kids enjoyed it to a certain degree, <laughs> you know, as much as uh, teenagers or young adults can enjoy hanging out and with nerds at a comic book store. I don't know. But like I said, hit that subscribe button. Um, if you like the video, give me a like. Um, either way, like I said, a negative comment, positive comment, just a unbiased comment. It doesn't matter. Drop a comment below. And tell me what you guys think about the comic book content. You know, is it something that should stick around or is it something that maybe I should just keep to myself for now? Well, thanks for watching. Appreciate it.